What's your take on the fact that when we're taking these, I guess, artificial supplements of melatonin, that it depletes our body's ability to make it and regulate it at the right times that we actually need it? Yeah, that's another critical question. And that's one of the fears that we have. I think the data we don't have right now to say one way or the other. But if you think about, let's say, a male who's undergoing hormone replacement therapy with exogenous testosterone, what we know is with certain forms of testosterone replacement therapy, after some period of time, the testes will stop producing their own testosterone. And even if you were to stop your exogenous injection of testosterone, your production of testosterone innately never returns. Yeah. And the worry is, is that the case with melatonin? Now, there have been a number of case studies that have looked at melatonin use, let's say, for up to four or even six weeks of constant use. And when they stop, melatonin production returns. Mm -hmm. So it looks as though we don't have to worry. My worry though with those data when someone has sort of offered them to me is to say, but most people in society, they're not using melatonin like that. They've been using it for years, yes, yeah, not six weeks. 